Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Amrika Sharp, and you can see that I have opened the PowerPoint presentation. And you know, this is a PowerPoint presentation because in this in the, here are slides located, and this is the first slide. So, let's open the PowerPoint presentation and I'll read it through it. Read through it, okay? So, let's go. Uh, where should I press yes. F5? Chapter 12 Life, ma Life Mathematics. What is Life Mathematics? Discuss first. So, Life Mathematics is a type of mathematics which comes handy in our daily life. Okay. So, this is Life Mathematics. And then comparison between CP and SP. Where SP, when C, SP is greater than CP, there is a profit. When CP is greater than SP, there is a loss. If a fruit seller buys one dozen apples from market at 10 rupees per apple and sells each apple for 12 rupees. So I was I added the these are the apples, okay. So answer cost price of one dozen apple equals ten multiplied by twelve equals one twenty. What ten multiplies? Ten multiplied by twelve equals one twenty. Oh, why you multiply the ten multiply twelve? Because we have to find uh, the rupees of uh, one dozen apple. Okay. The cost of one dozen apple. Okay. Cost of one dozen apple is one twenty rupees. Yes. How selling price equals mm, selling price equals twelve rupees multiplied by twelve mm, twelve. Okay. equals 144 so we got selling price um, 12 rupees because uh, in the question in the previous question we got to know that when if a fruit seller buys one dozen apples from market at 10 rupees per apple and sells each apple for 12 rupees so this is the uh, this was the we got 12 12 rupees from there so um, p Profit equals selling price minus cost price. Okay. So, thus profit equals SP minus CP equals 144 minus 120 equals 24 rupees. Okay. But, suppose out of 12 apples, 4 apples were rotten. So, he can sell only 8 apples. The selling price equals 12 rupees multiplied by 8 equals 96 rupees. But CP was 10 multiplied by 12 equals 120 rupees. And since CP is greater than SP, there will be a loss. Therefore, loss equals CP minus SP equals 120 minus 96 equals 24 rupees so so if four apples were rotten uh, in question in for of the question of the shopkeeper uh, he will go in loss of 24 rupees and if uh, he none of them were rotten he will go in a profit of 24 rupees okay then example one and two a shopkeeper bought one dozen air for 48 rupees, but two of them were rotten. So he sold remaining eggs for 5 rupees each. Find his profit or loss. Okay, so we'll do it like CP of 12 eggs equals 48 rupees. 12 minus 2 equals 10 multiplied by 5 equals 50. P equals SP minus C. CP equals mm, 50 rupees minus 48 rupees plus I don't meant plus I meant mm, equals to 
the cost price and the example number two is the cost price of a tv set is twenty two thousand nine hundred if if it is sold sold at twenty one thousand five hundred then the, then find the loss or profit cp of tv set cp means cost price yes okay CP of TV set is twenty two thousand nine hundred. Since CP is greater than SP, it will be a loss. CP minus SP equals twenty two thousand nine hundred rupees minus twenty one thousand five hundred rupees. Loss of we get loss of one thousand four hundred rupees. Okay. Then. Example three and four. The CP of a bag is four. Mm, the CP of a bag is four hundred and forty nine rupees, and its SP is three hundred and forty five rupees. Find the loss or profit. So, CP of a bag is four four hundred forty nine rupees since. CP is greater than SP. There will be a loss. CP minus SP equals four four hundred forty nine rupees minus three hundred forty five rupees. Loss is one hundred and four rupees. So we get the loss of one hundred and four rupees. Okay. So next question example four. Rahul bought an old washing machine for fifteen thousand. He spent one thousand two hundred and fifty-five on repairing it, and then sold it for eighteen thousand five hundred forty-nine. Find loss or profit. So, CP of washing machine equals fifteen thousand plus one hundred and twenty-five. One one thousand two hundred and twenty-five equals sixteen thousand two hundred and twenty-five. Since SP is greater than CP, there will be a profit. SP minus CP equals mm, SP one eighteen thousand. Not one eighteen thousand. It will be eighteen thousand. Five hundred forty-nine minus two minus sixteen thousand two hundred and twenty-five. The profit we get is two thousand three hundred and twenty-four. So thank you for watching this video, and this was all for today's video. Uh, as I have said, thank you for watching this video. So please subscribe and have a nice day. Will you uh, make another video on this? Uh, same In chapter yes uh, yes i'll make uh, another video on, on this series because the chapter which i'm talking about is still not finished and you can go and check my first videos link in the description bye and have a nice day bye bye